this stuff is some of my favorite stuff for winter time. It's Usnia Barbata. And uh, as you can see here in the rich forest, it grows really prolifically. So some places you can find it and it's just a little tougher to kind of suck to a um, branch that falls. But here where we live, it grows like this. And it grows way in the canopies. Um, it grows both on conifers and deciduous trees. And it's a lichen. So it is a combination of a fungus and an algae. So the fungus is on the inside um, and the algae coats the fungus and together that makes a lichen. So again, this is Usnea barbata, commonly just known as Usnea. And it grows just, um, root, it anchors itself to the bark of a, of a tree, a, a living tree. And it only grows where the air is really good quality. It won't grow in pollution. If it were growing in pollution, you wouldn't want to use it because it absorbs the pollutants from around its environment. But it doesn't often grow where it's a really polluted environment anyway. So, um, here where I live in the Smoky Mountains, so it's not an issue here. We have a beautiful, pristine environment, um, and we can use this without concern. So, um, what I like to do with this is I like to make a double extraction. So, anything that's a fungus, I typically um, would take a bunch of this off enough to fill, let's say, just a half pint jar. You don't, um, we use a lot of this. I, I, we usually make it more than like a quart because we use a lot of it. But you would just grab your material like this. You saw how easy that was, just pull it off. Um, stick it in your mason jar. And I like to use, if I'm doing a double extraction, which is an extraction of alcohol and an extraction of water. Um, you still want to keep it at about 35, 40% alcohol in the end so what you do is um, use Everclear or something that's above 100 proof. So Everclear is 150 proof, which makes that 75% alcohol. So I like to do this, um, steep this in alcohol first for about four to six weeks. Then I would strain this out, and then I would use the same plant material and make um, a decoction, which means I would simmer it down. It's kind of like a fancy word for simmering a tea, right? decoction or infusion. So decoction would be more when you're simmering out the, um, the medicinal constituents of this plant into the water, reducing that down, and then adding it back into that um, alcohol extract that you already did. So you again, you want to keep that 75% um, alcohol extraction, add your water extraction to that, but keep it at about 35-40% alcohol. So do the math on that um, with ounces and fluid ounces. Um, so what this is good for is lungs, bronchial um, infections, even um, things like pneumonia, really bad infections, bronchitis, um, real phlegmy, croupy, infected, garbage, just anything in your bronchial system. Also, a lot of things that are good for your bronchial system are also good for your urinary system. So this is also good for urinary tract in, uh, infections and um, bladder infections. So you would use it for lungs or urinary system. And it's even um, effective against like uh, gram-positive bacteria, really gnarly stuff. Um, staph infection, it's actually good for that. So, um, this one's kind of dried out, which I'm surprised. The other ones I was picking up, let me see if I can find one. It kind of did, so this, again, it grows up in the canopies, but when these branches fall down, you don't, you don't have to climb up into the canopies. You're not going to be harvesting these stuff. It takes a long time for this to grow. So after a storm, you'll just find this everywhere. You'll find branches that have fallen down, and that's when you want to gather it. Don't gather it off, of, off a tree when it's still living. Um, but if I could show you, let's see. I don't think I can show you on a dry one. But what you do, you pull this apart, and you can see there's a white string inside there. That's the fungus of this uh, lichen. 
So you pull it, if it's wet, it's a lot easier. This is crunchy and dry, which is odd because the other ones I was picking up were pretty wet. Um, but you can see there's a white string as you pull it apart, almost like rubber bandy feeling. Um, and that's a good sign. That's an identification marker for you that you have found the right one. So I like to use this. Um, if I, you start getting that tightness, that uh, um, sore throat feeling, you, oh, I have a sore throat coming on, it's really good just to start um, putting this, your, your extract. You can just make tea out of it. You can just, I boil water, turn it off, put maybe that much in a cup, and I'll gargle that warm. And I'm telling you, the next morning I don't have a sore throat issue at all. I've never had a full-fledged sore throat come on while using the SNEA. Goldenrod is another really good one for that. Literally, Sage is another really good one for that. And Honeysuckle is really good for um, antivirals. So, I, you know, if you want to mix those things. And all those things I just said grow right here, right around me, are free. Um, and so, I don't know. We don't, we don't have to use, you know, cough drops or cough syrups or anything like that. This is all we use. And it's very effective. Um, my little kids use it, my husband uses it, safe for all ages, so, this Mia Barbata, good stuff to know, thanks for watching.